Good morning and welcome back to Exmoor. After Milan's End little jog last week. Hope you enjoyed that video. What a morning. <laughs> what a morning. It's stunning. Parked in the same place as I did on my last Exmoor video for Hawkcomb Valley. But this time when we get down to the footpath, we are gonna swing a right rather than a left. Um, I want to go right because that is in the direction of Nutscale Reservoir. Uh, I've done some star trails there before uh, over the reservoir. It's quite picturesque, it's quite nice. It's a very quiet reservoir, it's very small. But I've always wanted to get on the other side of it because it's higher. So I'm hoping we'll get on top of a sort of a vista and we'll be able to look down over the reservoir um, and get some good shots. The sun will be behind us. The cloud is greyish, broken. Um, so hopefully it'll be a good morning. Um, but this is stunning, man. This is stunning. I've already done a quick... Oh my God, I'm stepping on ice. <laughs> Get off. I've already... <laughs> I've already done the sunrise. I can see my glorious place of work over there as well. Um, I'll stick that up now, man, but bear with me, I can get some walking done. I'll see you shortly. cold up here <laughs> so you have to excuse me I'm getting a shot and then I'm talking you through it just to try and keep myself moving I think I'm one layer short really it's it's cold um it's the wind it's the biting wind but at least I got a hat this week that covers my ears back there before the sun went above this gray cloud I had a shot I put it up in a sec it's looking out over the hills and the rays were coming down through the valley. I'm really hoping it's worked out, but it was like, I had literally 30 seconds to get it because the sun and the clouds moving that way, this bank of gray cloud that we've had and the sun's going up behind it. So it was, yeah, mega quick. I think I got it, I'll stick it up now. Where I am now, I think the reservoir's just over the ridge here. Um, if I turn you around, done a bit of focus stacking. Um, so there's the camera, and he's pointing all the way over there. All the way over there is Dunkery Beacon. Um, and just behind the beacon, we've got, um, it's pointless zooming you in because it's so bloody far away. We've still got some beautiful yellow from that morning sunrise. So what I've done, is uh, bring you down here. I've focus stacked on this log. Um, so I'm at one tenth of a second, ISO 64F13, I think. Focused on the log, and then we've gone up and we've focused on Dunkery Beacon. We'll put those into Photoshop and we'll blend them all together. But what else I've done, that was quite a sharp shot. It was in at 70 mil. Um, what I've also done, is done the landscape as well back out at 24 mil um same again i focused on the log dunkery beacon um i've also focused over there where the valleys all interweave together um and then i focused on a little gorse bush down here so there's four shots will blend together in photoshop um and hopefully they'll work out because we've got this Although the grey bank's coming over, we've still got a beautiful pastely blue, uh, some very, very faded light reds, um, and we've got the snow to contrast it all. I mean, what? it's not thick snow, it's obviously on its way out, but the contrast of it all, and you've got green hills here, and you've got white snow over there versus the yellow-reddish sky colour in the background, um, 
<laughs> really bloody hoping they work out because I think it would be gorgeous. Um, I'm going to carry on up the track and see where Nutscale Reservoir is. I'll put those photos up now. So I'm where I want to be, um, it's still bitterly cold. The beautiful orange yellow glow's gone and it's not quite what I expected it to be. Um, I'm not disappointed because there's a good foreground interest. It does lead into the valley, let's show you, instead of looking at me all the time. So there's a tree here, leads into the valley, the reservoir's down there, leads off clear blue skies it's quite beautiful done a couple of shots at uh on 50 of a second f9 iso 100 um i've done some focus stacking so i've done the tree in the foreground and i've done the background um i like the way these trees here this is where i want it to be uh was up by those trees but that's farmer's field um and i'm not sure about the rights away there so i've stayed clear um shame i will do some more uh research into that because it's if i am allowed on there it's definitely worth coming back for it, it'll be a beautiful shot down through there um so that's about it really i've put the drone up so i've done some aerial photography of it as well and a video um, but that's it for the reservoir i haven't been that chatty this morning i do apologize but i can't describe how cold it is up here the, the wind is biting i literally have my gloves off for a couple of minutes do the shots i want warm my hands back up do the camera do the piece to camera and then get my hands back in the gloves and warm back up. I mean, the fingers are easy. These, these gloves have proved their worth this morning. Absolutely smashing. Again, seal skins, winter level four, I think they were, or two, two, three or four, three or four, one or the other. I'm going to head back up to the main road now. Um, I've done three miles to get here. Uh, it's quite slow going because you're dipping in and out of the valleys. So I'm going to get back to the main road. And then we'll see what we can see from there, really, because there's, st there's still some nice light. There's some good clouds. So let's, uh, let's go for a walk and have a look. on the way back to the car um such a beautiful vista up here i don't know if you can see past right there oh it's stunning up here that sunlight considering it was supposed to be gray grayed out this morning it's not it's broken i've just done another shot back there again focus stacked it there's a tree in the foreground and then you've got the hills of Dunkery in the background. Um, I'll put that one up now. Something I wanted to speak to you about this morning, and it's actually come quite true, true, because I dropped the bloody camera. 
his uh, filters and lens hoods. I know we have our ND filters and stuff for doing all, all our uh, water motion and all that stuff. Your ND filters and graduated filters, polarizing filters and lens hoods. You will rarely ever see me without a lens hood on for exactly that reason this morning. What's a lens hood? A tenner compared to a thousand pound lens that's on the camera now. And when the camera fell, it fell on the lens hood. If that cracks, it's a tenner replaced. I'd rather that cracked before the lens. All my photography equipment's insured, but you don't want to go through that rigmarole of claiming. It's the same for filters. I know some ND filters are expensive. I know some polarizing filters are expensive. But the ones I've got are inexpensive compared to the lens. Um, I use KNF stuff, KNF concept. And their stuff's really good, fairly priced for the photography I do. And if you drop your camera and it cracks one or smashes one, just buy another. You know, rather than a lens, I mean, the Sony 200 to 600, that's 1600 quid. My Tamron F2.8, 28 to 85, that was 900 quid. Um, you've got to protect your investments because they are investments especially if you're using your lenses to make money in landscape photography, it's, it's your investment. Uh, I think that's about it on that subject. Put your lens on. <laughs> you don't have to, it's just my advice, but I like to protect my gear where I can really. So, excuse my air if it's a mess, but I'm on top of Hill and it's really warm compared to the bitterness that was down there. Um, I'm really quite warm up here, it's lovely. Just on our way back to the van now. Um, so just bumped into a runner. Um, he's running across Exmoor this morning, as you do. <laughs> Nuts. Um, he's just done a massive sponsored event and run across uh, the south the south coast coastline, southwest coastline. So again, nuts, but <laughs> massive credit to him, massive credit to him. But when you stop and you talk to people like this, he's given me my next location. Um, so when we get home, we'll, we'll check that out and we'll have a look at that one. But um, he said, he said, you got the Peugeot van? I said, yeah, I'll go back that way now. He said, yeah, it's still there. Oh, thank God for that. But you know, when you park and you think you're quite close, but yet somehow, I'm a lot further back than I imagine. I don't know how that's happened. Anyway, on we uh, oh. How is the weight loss going, I hear you ask. You probably don't, but I'll tell you anyway. <laughs> um, started my journey December 22nd uh, after a brief spell of <sighs> feeling like crap, should we say, without going too deep. 97 kilos. Uh, PT instructor, we're out running, uh, heading our way down to 93 kilos almost. Um, lots of running this week. Um, well, I say lots of running compared to Steve who I just met. It's not lots of running. I've done eight miles in a week. He's going to do about 30 miles today, he said. Nuts. Nonetheless, it's working. Um, I feel fantastic. My cravings have gone. Um, my attitude's changed. Um, and as I said at the beginning, this isn't a diet, it's a life change. Diets fail. This isn't a diet YouTube channel, but diets fail. Every time you head back to your old ways. So this is a life change for me. I've booked a trip to Scotland this year. Can not wait for that. That's gonna be amazing. That is a bucket list tick off. Um, so it's all good. My belly's disappearing. I'm fitting into clothes that normally feel uncomfortable. 
it's, it's nothing but positivity, it really is. And I'm managing my treats. Um, and I'm respecting my treats, not just shoving them in like I normally do of an evening. And yeah, I feel, oh, I'm a little bit out of breath here. I have walked five miles this morning over Axmoor. Uh, I feel amazing. I can't scream it from the rooftops enough. Absolutely wonderful. So back in the van, never known breakfast to taste so good after five and a half miles stomping around Exmoor. Right, we're all done. Whatever photos I haven't put up, I'll put up very shortly. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you again, uh, more new subscribers this week. So thank you, slowly, slowly, but we are growing, uh, which is fantastic. I love it. Um, go and have a look at small videos if you're new. And I look forward to doing the next video and being all excited about getting up here in the freezing cold yet again. But it's good. It's good to move with the seasons. Um, I can't wait to revisit some of these locations in the summers. Sunsets. Uh, it'd be stunning. Absolutely stunning. I absolutely love this place. I am head over heart in love with Exmoor, I think. But there you go. See you next week for wherever we go, whatever we do. Thanks for coming. See ya.